The carotid artery in the neck supplies blood to the brain as well as the face and eyes. As blood is pumped into the carotid artery, it creates pressure on the artery wall. At the same time, the blood creates friction against the wall, pushing gently on the wall with a shearing force. Shear forces can vary at different locations along the artery wall because of the artery's complex geometry. Atherosclerosis can occur in the carotid artery and lead to the growth of plaque. Plaques often form on the outer wall of the artery in a region where shear forces are small. This process occurs over decades. Carotid plaques can be categorized by their structure. Some have a thick and stable fibrous cap. Others have a thin, vulnerable fibrous cap. Under the fibrous cap is a soft necrotic core. Plaques can alter the pattern of blood flow significantly. A computer simulation shows that instead of moving smoothly along the artery, like the calm flow of water in a lazy stream, the blood flow is well mixed with eddies around the plaque. It is more like white water rapids in a river. Over time, the rapid fluctuations of pressure and strong shearing forces weaken the plaque. It is similar to the wear and tear on a road from the weight of constant traffic passing over it. The forces due to the blood's motion cause less strain on a thick fibrous cap than on a thin one. Eventually, the plaque fractures. Small blood clots form and float downstream to the brain. These clots can lodge in smaller blood vessels, causing blindness, paralysis, or other symptoms of a stroke. If the clot dissolves, or gets washed away quickly, the stroke is temporary. If not, the damage can be permanent. A clot can also form at the surface of the plaque. It can enlarge and completely block the artery, resulting in stroke. <laughs>